here's uh here's the power cells i got five of them here and it's yeah. charging up this uh capacitor bank so all you do is just keep them wet keep them wet and they'll continuously produce power that we're hoping to get about 10 to 20 years life out of it and the battery is also uh self-charging okay so you don't have to plug it in to charge it it recharges itself so that's yeah. one yeah that's one amazing tech i'm working on right now it recharges itself yeah uh, that's like can you be able to explain maybe yeah so you would have um say like um say like a computer battery right if you have my power cell like a computer battery yeah. and you're using your laptop all day and then you shut it off at night by the time you wake up in the morning it's recharged to full capacity yes uh, that's interesting and you don't have to plug it in where does and, it yeah go ahead i was about to ask where does it get the energy to it gets it from a sacrificial cathode and the quantum tunneling effect so uh -huh. where you think that the electron flow from the uh, from the cathode to the anode mm -hmm. cannot happen it gets through this barrier without any means of getting through it they call it a quantum tunneling effect so the actual cell itself doesn't really have an like a an acidic uh electrolyte there's a, no acidic value to it there's no a galvanic action happening in the cell i've made yeah. several that are dry and i've made several that are like a, a gel a modified gel but they're not acidic they're totally alkaline so mm. and the, the the great part is you don't have to charge it because it recharges itself and it will outlast any battery on the market it'll last 10 to 20 years no. so like, do, do, you, do you like have you built any that work so far or is just yes. a concept? oh yeah oh no it's working i have a couple prototypes running right now can we be able to see because even even identity <laughs> with health is wondering man he's saying what, okay. what, what are you talking about because okay, i'll like, show you okay I'll, yeah I'll, I'll show you one right now basically the way it runs is all you have to do is sprinkle a little bit of water on it and the battery will put out power for a couple of days just by sprinkling a little bit of water on it now this cell here will last up to 20 yeah you know, i would say a good 20 years before it would have to be replaced okay so here's uh here's the power cells i got five of them here and it's yeah. charging up this uh capacitor bank and uh these cells have been running for about a week now i just sprayed them with a bit of water distilled water mm. and uh yeah that's it so these have a magnesium and alum alum will protect the magnesium from uh oxidation it's a preservant you can use it for food pres uh, preserving so it's called alum a-l-u-m and and like so far many volts can you be able to get from this like, one this uh, this bank here is nine volts and this nine is volts crazy. DC. and it's and running so right now what what is it doing it's recharging itself yeah like if i were to disconnect the load on it it'll start yeah. recharging itself all right so now I, yeah like this makeup right now it's just running continuously so these are carbon graphite uh they're they're used for making molds for like uh putting gold in there or silver and melting it inside a cauldron <laughs> so um yeah. i got these on amazon they're about uh three of them are like 36 dollars us so 
And then I fill it up with the alum and the magnesium. Uh, the post is your negative. The positive is the graphite. Um, it's graphite ingot. So that's your anode and the cathode is your magnesium. And it's filled up with alum. And I put a paper towel on it so I protect it. And you just have to spray it with water. So, like, you wait, wait, once they run out, is when you spray with, with water, then it activates recharging? Or... Yeah, uh, you could even put them in the ground. Um, you could put them in the ground and just the natural moisture of, you know, the rain falling into the ground, wets the ground, the cells will be charged up again. Or the mo morning dew, you could put it on your, uh, on your uh, porch outside, and every time it rains, it puts moisture on the cell and you got power and you put enough of these in series you could light up a whole bank of lights right so somebody's asking that how many milliamps at at nine volts uh these ones are running at about uh each cell is about 40 40 to 60 milliamps per cell then oh i see you're saying the anode is graphite the anode is graphite. This uh, this box here is made of graphite ingot, yeah. and the uh, cathode is your negative post. So I got a a post uh, attached to the magnesium plate inside, and then you just fill it up all with alum, put some water on it, and what's going to happen within the three days? The water hitting the alum is going to create a crystal structure. So it's like a crystal battery. And after that crystal is formed. Yeah. You get maximum power. So all you do is just keep them wet. Keep them wet and they'll continuously produce power. And you think this like can run like four years, you know, four years, you don't 20 have to years. connect. I to say 20 years. Or the last yeah. one is about eight years. I would say 10 to 20 years easy because the alum is uh, a preservant. It protects the magnesium from oxidation. So if you have something that protects the magnesium, the magnesium's not gonna deteriorate. Eventually it will, yes. So I, I would guarantee these will last 10 years, no problem. Somebody is asking if you have any video of how to, to make- Yeah, to make yeah, it's, yeah, it's on my channel, yep. I have it on my channel. If if any person followed step by step, they can be able to come up with it. Yep, exactly. And and Gerald say that he has a circuit which can help you to improve uh, the output. Yep, you could put a jewel thief circuit up to it or Gerald circuit. Um, yeah, <laughs> totally doable. Then say CL is asking that it could be a chemical reaction. I think it means like once you add the water. Yeah, like, like eventually the water eventually the water is going to dry out, right? Yeah. So all you have to do is just saturate them with water, and it starts uh, it starts producing power. So if and if say you sub you submerged them in water, it will produce power continuous. Yep, continuous, nonstop. So you could put a like a fogger next to it on a timer. And it will shoot moisture over it, you know, once every day or once every 12 hours. And this thing will run indefinitely. So maybe the only issue with it could be like how you can be able to scale it. Say if you want yeah. to sell it to people. It's easy to scale. You can make, you know, get bigger blocks, you know, graphite blocks. And yeah. these, these are different than what uh, John Hutchison was working on. He wasn't able to hook them up in series. For some reason, his cells would not work in series. These do. You could hook up 50 of these if you want. 100 of them, 200. It will, it will just keep multiplying the power. So when I first got these going, each one was producing 2 volts DC at 40 milliamps each. Yeah. So you hook them all in series, 
There you go. And these are super caps. These are Maxwell super caps. Uh, this is greedy, but like, uh, have you? Uh, <laughs> it's quite incredible. Somebody was saying that maybe. Saying that it's a great. You're saying that it's a great innovation. Let me try to. If you have any question for Mike Faraday about this, what he has just shown us. And generally saying that, yes, Mike is next level. There's somebody who's saying that, like, maybe selling it can be a problem. Yeah, yeah. these are if completely I'm, open source. They're completely yeah. open source. It's so easy to make. Like, you do not need an engineering degree to make these batteries at all. They're very, very simple. 